Hello Gemini, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a love reading. It's gonna be looking at your person, uh, the person that you're thinking about. So this is for those of you who are already in a connection. This will be a general love reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So it will not resonate with everyone watching as it's general. Um, feel free to check out your other messages if this doesn't resonate for you. I'm sorry, your other placements if this doesn't resonate with you. Sometimes those can resonate more. So. Let's get into it for Gemini spirit, please. What messages do you have for Gemini? Messages for Gemini, please. Ooh, we got deep freeze. Whoa. Messages for Gemini, please. What does Gemini need to know in regards to love? That's way too many, but I'm gonna take that one. What does Gemini need to know in regards to love spirit? Okay. Oh, geez. Okay. We got deep freeze. We got rock bottom. Notice how that's a 10. So again, a culmination here. I don't, I say again, because I've seen this like Oracle cards with 10 while I've been pre shuffling. So don't mind me, but, um, a 10 is all about like endings, culminations, um, the end of a cycle sad embrace what is going on gemini something's going on in love that's either for you or that you're the person that you're dealing with there's some difficulty in your partnership your relationship we're going to clarify all of these with the tarot by the way but i'm not getting i'm getting very sad energy um, and not just because I, I see sad embrace, but, you know, deep freeze, rock bottom, sad embrace. Somebody has hit rock bottom and is very sad about it. Someone feels um, shut out, cold. Um, no warmth here, no love here, possibly, for this person. And this rock bottom is reminding me a lot of the Ten of Swords energy, where the only way to go is up at this point. So let's see what the tarot has to say for Gemini spirit. Help me clarify these messages for Gemini. Help me clarify these messages for Gemini, please. Gemini, uh, whatever situation I talk about today, time is fluid. So it could have already happened, be, be happening right now or happen in the near future. And the roles can be reversed. So flip it if it resonates more for you. Spirit, what can you tell me for Gemini regarding this situation? What can you tell me for Gemini, please, regarding this situation? All right, let's start with this deep freeze. Tell me about deep freeze, please. What is this deep freeze energy about, Spirit? I was going to take that, but I don't feel like... Tell me about deep freeze, Spirit. What's this deep freeze... About four of cups. Okay, so someone is discontent. Disillusioned, I just heard. They can just focus on what they don't have. Notice how all of these cups are empty in this picture. This person's not looking at what's in front of them. They're just focusing on all of these empty cups, like everything that ha they don't have. Tell me more for deep freeze. Thank you. Four of Wands. Interesting. So this could be in regards to a partnership of some sort. Some sort of st stable uh, partnership. I feel like this person is mentally checking out of this partnership. Someone is discontent in a partnership. Anything else for Deep Freeze? For Gemini. Yeah, look at this. Death. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, someone with Scorpio in their chart, or this is just an ending happening here. Someone wants to transform a situation that they're not happy about. All right, so let's move on to rock bottom. Tell me about rock. Okay, we got five of pentacles and six of pentacles. So I'm getting someone here who has been possibly giving or 
making an effort and not getting the same in return. Um, there's an imbalance here. Um, I really felt with this deep freeze, someone's being shut out, left behind, left out in the cold, um, struggling, insecure with the Five of Pentacles. Um, but there's an imbalance here. Someone has realized that almost like there's no way to rebalance this. There's, there's, this is, this is, this is ended in some way. Anything else for Gemini? What's this rock bottom about? Whoa, someone just flew out. Five of swords, another five. Challenges, change. So five of swords, this is about someone who has had communication of some sort. Someone who's who's tried to take advantage of a situation using thoughts and words. Um, someone has probably tried to manipulate a situation here. And all it's caused is someone else to walk away. Um, also, I'm getting the sense of someone wanting to win at all costs, no matter who they hurt. That's what the five of swords is about. And I feel like whatever has happened with this Five of Swords energy, it's caused a huge imbalance. Justice under the deck right now. So um, sign of Libra here, but more than anything, I'm getting someone wanting to rebalance the situation, make a final decision here. Tell me about Sad Embrace. Tell me about Sad Embrace for Gemini. What's this Sad Embrace energy? about king of wands someone wants to take action wants to have courage here ace of pentacles interesting anything else for this sad embrace energy i'm really getting the five of cups energy with this five and sad embrace five em sad embrace king of swords so what I'm getting here is someone, um, someone here is thinking about where to put in their effort. Um, someone is thinking about their finances. Someone is thinking about, this could also be someone wanting to make things right in a material sense. Um, but with this King of Swords and King of Wands, it's almost like, I don't know, it's like, it's too little too late for this person with the sad embrace because this is clarifying sad embrace it's almost like um they have their eye on something else here or um wanting to make an offer somewhere else and cut out whatever's in their way here with the king of swords um fire sign or air sign here what an interesting reading bottom of the deck knight of cups so this could be someone wanting to apologize i don't know if it's to the person that they're with right now or to someone else let's see if we can get some more clarification here in a different deck bear with me as i try to shuffle um huge thank you by the way i forgot to say it in the beginning huge thank you to everyone who has commented liked shared the videos subscribed i really appreciate it i read all of your comments and i love hearing from from you guys all right gemini let's get more deep in here i really get the sense that someone here is unhappy in a current partnership it could be you or the person that you are dealing with so let's see what can you tell me about this four of cups what can you tell me about the four of cups i really feel like this is someone who has emotionally checked out lovers someone's trying to make a decision regarding love here they're thinking about the past. They're thinking about opportunities, possibly lost or missed opportunities with someone. What else can you tell me about Four of Cups? 
Someone's thinking about being single with the Nine of Pentacles as well. What about this Four of Wands? What about this Four of Wands? The Chariot. Yeah, someone wants to leave. Head out. Um, by the way, I have Gemini and Cancer here. Someone wants to move forward after this ending or this transformation. Tell me more about this Four of Wands. Star, sign of Aquarius. I feel like someone has healed from the rock bottom, the sadness here, and has caused them to move towards victory, success, somewhere else. Tell me about the death card. Thank you. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, they've looked at everything they put into this commitment or relationship, and it's like it didn't go anywhere, and they want to invest somewhere else. There's a Four of Pentacles again. There's going to be an ending here, a transformation, or this person themselves is going through a transformation. Tell me more about this Six of Pentacles, please. There's an imbalance here. Someone's giving more than the other person. Someone is feeling like they're not being reciprocated. Seven of Cups here. Confusion, options, um, fantasies. I feel like this person has been thinking about a way out of this situation. Tell me more about the Six of Pentacles. High Priestess. This person knows intuitively what they need to do. I feel like their intuition is guiding them to make this decision that's been very confusing for them. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. What's this Five of Pentacles about? The Gemini, please, and the person they are connecting with. Wow. Five of Pentacles and the world. So Five of Pentacles clarified by the Five of Pentacles and the world. See, there's going to be a new cycle here. A cycle is ending here for someone. For something else to begin. Tell me about this Five of Swords. Tell me about this Five of Swords for Gemini. Yeah, look at this. Hold on. Knight of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. I feel like this energy of someone who's kind of wishy-washy, unsure, um, hot-headed, possibly a fire sign of some sort that... I feel like they're the ones making an offer here. Tell me more about this Ace of Pentacles. Hold on. Tell me more about this Ace of Pentacles. Eight of Wands, Six of Wands. So, someone wants to communicate with someone else. It's like they want to end this cycle so that they can start something new and it's like they can't wait to get there. I'm also getting, for others of you, this is someone who comes in and out of your life that wants to again come back in and talk to you, you know, and it's, I, I don't get a good, a good um, energy from that, almost like a, a more manipulative energy just because it's clarifying the five of swords here, like they use words to their advantage to try to warm themselves back in, but for others of you, this is someone with a lot of passion want to deliver a message about how they want to be successful. But first they have to get away from whatever this is. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles over here. What's this Ace of Pentacles about? Ten of Wands. A burden. Another ten, so another completion here. Someone's feeling a bit overwhelmed. Page of Pentacles. Someone here could be waiting for money to come to them before making their move. I feel like there's an opportunity too for this person to get them to take action and communicate clearly. It's almost like an opportunity that takes them out of this funk. They're able to set down a burden. They're able to make another offer somewhere. Tell me more for this Ace of Pentacles, please.
Four of Pentacles. Yeah, this is financial. There's a financial burden here of some sort. I have the Three of Swords under the deck. This could be a third party situation here where someone's probably financially tied up with someone else. And even though there's a relationship here that someone wants to get out of, and even though this has hit rock bottom, they're waiting for a financial windfall or some sort, or some sort of financial relief in order to make their move. Until then, they're trapped, they're stuck. Tell me about this King of Wands. Two of Cups. Yeah, this King of Wands wants to make an offer to someone they feel very strongly about. Yeah, Page of Cups. Possibly an apology or just an expression of emotion here. Tell me about the King of Swords. What's the King of Swords doing here? Two of Pentacles, juggling. I feel like this person needs to make a decision between two people. And just as I say that, I have two queens that come out. Queen of Cups, Queen of so uh, Swords here. Could be a water sign or an air sign. And then I have a King of Cups here. Wow, there's a lot of people here. <laughs> um, I feel like this King of Cups has to make a decision between two queens. So this could be a third party situation. Bottom of the deck, I have the Six of Cups. So this king might be wanting to make a return to something that maybe there was no closure with the world or something like that. Um, yeah, there's a Two of Swords again, or the another two. So a decision here, a, a decision where they're stuck. Yeah. They're trying to protect themselves, defend themselves in order to do to bring this offer. Yeah, and it's going to happen. There's like clarity here. They want to clear the air. They want to communicate how they feel, but they're stuck. Very interesting. Let's get some romance angels and see what we get for Gemini. This person is tied up in something, Gemini, either you or them. They're not happy where they are, whoever this person is. They're not happy where they are. All they're thinking about is ending, rebalancing their life, um, going after what they truly want. But there's, there's, there's something, there's an obstacle in the way for Gemini, please, Spirit. What messages do you have for Gemini? What messages do you have for Gemini, please? Wedding and trust. This situation involves marriage. I feel like this person could possibly be in a committed relationship or married. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. I feel like a lot of you have given up on this connection because of the fact that this might be a third party. And it appears this person already made their choice. Tell me more. For others of you, I feel like you need to trust in your intuition. I feel like for some of you, there's been spiritual messages of some sort or something that you need to trust in that. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. This person wants to come back but they're stuck. Um, they can't make a move just yet, but whatever they're going through, I mean, this person has hit rock bottom, Gemini. This is not easy to come back from, so I don't feel like this is something that's gonna happen quickly. Uh, I think it might take some time, but a reconciliation is possible here. I see this person wanting to communicate with you, but they're tied up somewhere else. Um, I hope that you are all safe and happy or at least peaceful or feeling a little bit more peace now because um, I know it's been crazy the last couple of weeks. So I hope you're all well and um, 
I hope that you guys um, find some sort of comfort in at least, you know, spirit and messaging from spirit or messages from spirit. I know I have. So, yes, I don't know why I'm going on and on about that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in another video. Take care.